YouTube. It's your boy Fish and Kenook City TV, man. I am in the wind. Listen, I'm out here today, man. No longer in the spawn anymore. I'm sure I could find spawning fish, but that's just not what's the happenings right now. I'm out here on a windy lake this day, um, bluebird skies, and we're dealing with um, full moon fade. So I might be in trouble. Now, I might've put my foot in my mouth, y'all. I got a call from one of my old buddies. He said, man, Ken, I'm down bad. Uh, got a hurt back and I got a son that's graduating. I want to celebrate him and I'd like to do it with some fish. Can you help me? Well, listen, man, I can. Guys, I want to put something on your mind real quick. It's always a blessing to be a blessing. What we're going to do, man, we're going to go out here on this windy lake, see if I can get a hold to probably about 25 fish. That'll be 50 fillets. And if y'all had a fish fry before, you know fish and bread keep a family fed. Let's get out here in this wind, man. See if we can get on a couple crappie and bless my brother today. Y'all stay tuned, man. Let's go, baby. Was a ride y'all i couldn't record it all because the dang on tripod it didn't want to stand up i ain't had nowhere to mount it that was rough i ain't gonna lie to you and i can see how that can deter people man but listen we are in a protected cove now we're gonna be doing some timber fishing man i got my acc crappie sticks um i gotta see what they want to bite but you know I'm, I'm gonna throw a plethora i can't plethora plethora how you say it plethora i'm gonna throw a plethora a brush pile jigs at them today, man. Let's go, baby. I'm so excited. I don't know why. Because God is good. That's why. So here's one that tickled me. I just realized that I left my doggone sunglasses in the truck. Big bill up so y'all can see me. Left my sunglasses in the truck. I was like, man, I know I got to have a pair in here somewhere. Got to give a shout out to dad, man. Because we have his blue blockers still in the boat. I'm gonna be looking like Ant-Man with these things on. But I tell you what, man, these are some solid, y'all see that? These jokers are solid, man. Coverage on all sides. I can see the live scope pretty good. We're gonna use the blue blockers today, baby. <laughs> We're gonna use the blue blockers today. But uh, the two poles I know I'm gonna need, man, if I get some casting done, we're gonna do it with the seven foot one piece ACC crappie stick. Um, really love this rod, man. I got a nice Dioa Acceler on here. It casts really well. I always try to pair it with a tungsten jig head, something that falls fast from Euro Tackle. Um, and right now, I just got on a blue ice on this on this thing, man. I'm waiting for my care package to come from Brush Pile Jigs, man. But we're gonna we're gonna probably put some Brush Pile Jigs on them too. And then on this one, man. Um, here lately, they've been hitting these little hand ties as ugly as that is that dog hunts man but this is our 12 foot acc crappie stick got braided line on this one because we're not casting you see i got the dropper rig on just an eighth ounce um barrel weight that's about i don't know 10 11 inches above this bait so i'm probably gonna trade this bait out i just want to see what we can get done today man um Big be alone because it is it is getting sunny out here. It's getting hot out here, guys. Thankfully, it's a little windy, so I should be okay. Then I found some swag, some brush pile jig swag. You can get them on the websites too, as well as the jerseys. L listen, we out here today, man. And the reason I'm starting to check these tree lines because we're getting into the, the middle slash end of uh, May, which lets me know that we have progressed through the, uh, through the spawn a little bit. So I just want to start checking. Oh my gosh, first tree I come up to. I'm seeing four dots, but the question is, are they going to be keeper size fish? So listen, first tree, <laughs> first tree in this tree line I come up to. I lie to you not, man. First tree I come up to is this is what it looks like. I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see that because I'm facing right in the sun. But we're going to put a jig down. I did choose. I didn't really choose a clear water jig. It's it's kind of a clear water hybrid i would say 
Um, and what I picked up was a two inch dart and it is a monkey milk by Brush Pile Jigs. It's, it's chartreuse on the bottom with the monkey milk that y'all are all used to on the top. It's that clear laminate with a little bit of black flake in it. So it's a bunch of fish here, but we want to make sure they're the right kind. Right kind, right size. Of course, they're not just biting or firing off. Got a little nip, but that was it. We got a couple things we're gonna work through. Like I said, a, a few of the concerns of mine are the fact that it is a full moon. We're coming into a full moon phase. Um, and then the fish are just in transition, period. They're definitely in transition right now, so. First fish on. Spot lock that thing and see what we got. Man, look. Y'all see what it is. Within seconds. Yes, man, we are using the um, Garmin Live Scope. My head unit is a 126 SB. Um, still using the 32 transducer for any of those that want to know that much about it. Um, I had no reason to change to the 34. I got everything I need. That's a good keeper fish right there. Good keeper fish right there. And just to make sure. Always important to have your measuring tool with you, man. Listen, there's no reason to be keeping little fish, y'all. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but my 10-inch line is right here. And his tail is up here. I never really start my um, live whales. I don't know why I'm like this, but I don't start my live whales without catching a, a fish first. So. Fish is caught, we're gonna get the live well started. It's gonna be a little cumbersome. We'll be right back, get back in this tree, see if we can get us another one. Dang. Oh man, my whole, everything just came off. Well, that fish got a lip piercing. I'll go back in my bag of tricks and get reset up, y'all. He might have just messed up. Ten go in. Not just when you're playing domino. Get my trusty measuring tool. Oh yeah, he too much long. Ten and a half get cut in half, baby. He got to come with us. Two piece. Another fish sitting by itself on the tree. Let's see if he got any kind of want to. Oh, God, dog. He hit right at the top of the tree and rubbed himself off the hook. I lost another hook. Some freaky stuff going on out here today, man. My whole hook came off again. That time, fast snapping off. Oh, man, y'all. I'm about to get it together and get it together fast. Shoot. And that's what I knew was going to happen, man. These fish were not going to be just crazy aggressive and hungry. Because as this full moon approaches, man, there's more light hitting the lake at night. And they're eating at night. I knew I was going to start dealing with that. That fish swam off. Came up, puppy dog, would not bite. That ain't good.
I had to dig deep in that tree, man, to get this fish to come out. But he liked it. Now, that's one of them no checks. One of them no looks, man. Some good sides on that one, man. Guys, I've been fishing for probably the last 30 minutes. Um, weird stuff happening. Hooks breaking off. Fast snaps coming off my, my line. All kinds of weird stuff. So I don't know what's really going on today. But, man, this is fish number three. Um, these trees are covered in small fish as well. So you got to be selective, which that's what um, the live scope gives us the ability to do is be selective, man, and try to drop on these fish that you know um, or that at least look like bigger marks on the screen. That's fish number three. I'm telling you, it is a weird day. It's a weird day. That done fell off my head. <laughs> Whew. We're gonna work through it. Caught fish. It's tough, but it's fair. Another caught fish, man. And we ain't trophy fishing, we grocery fishing. He better not be too much long. Oh yeah. That's another 10 and 3 quarters, man. He get to come with us. There's a no look for you. That one ain't gotta be looked at. So what I did is I actually pitched on this fish about 14 foot, 13 foot away, just to make sure that approaching him is not the issue. We don't wanna get on top of those fish if they can see the boat. We are fishing clear water. And that's a good fish right there, man. I don't care where you at. That's a 12 inch crappie, y'all. Let's go. We are gonna keep on working and keep on jerking. Yep, we on again. On again. That's that stop and pop. That's how I like it. So we did find a tree with two keepers on it. It might be a third one down there if he don't swim off on us first, but Tell you what, that fish wanted that jig. That fish wanted that jig. That's another keeper. It's 11 inch fish, man. Let's see if we can, see if we can get one more off that thing. I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. See if we can drop down there and get one more off of it. One just swam off and that's fine. He's looking. Come on. He ain't moving, but he's looking. I want to throw this on the bottom. Oh, there he is. That was going to be a baby. He ain't going to make it. Here he'll get the hook out of him. I see one more. See one more, see if we can go. Four for four, let's see. Tell me that came off. Guys, the hook came off again. The hook came off. I'm telling you, this has been a weird 
day. And he went right back to that tree. He gotta have a nose piercing. He gotta have a nose piercing. I'm gonna re and see if I can. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on, y'all. We're gonna get back in there, let me retie. I'm retied and back in the saddle. second time he didn't want it. Got his buddy though. Good fish. Good fish. That one wanted it. Yes, sir. That's exactly what we're looking for right there, man. Good, solid keepers. Beautiful fish. They're going to color up in the live well, too. That's what we need, those no checks, no looks. That one goes to the live well. A lot of these fish ain't moving, y'all, so I'm going to try some. We're going to go to the uh, seven-footer. The wind is up, so it's going to be a little harder to control it. But this eighth-ounce tungsten usually, usually does the trick and wind. We're going to see what happens, man. A few of these fish are puppy-dogging, and what that means is they'll chase, they'll follow, but they won't bite, man. They're, they're, they're acting like little puppies to them. I need them to get aggressive. I need some pit bulls and dogo Argentinas. See if we can get one to run up and, and hit. That's what I need. That's exactly what I need. Ooh, it's a good fish too, y'all. Ooh, it's a real good fish. Alright, hung up. I'm telling you, it's a weird day. Ooh. Oh my god. Hee-haw! That's exactly what I needed. And that's exactly why I always keep a short rod with me. Sometimes that vertical presentation just ain't it. But look what happened when we make a pitch. Let's go, baby. Well, guys, I think it's time we uh, move around a little bit. It's literally white capping across this cove. We're gonna do some moving and see if we can get into some active, bigger fish. Gotta move if you wanna find them. Fishing a little closer to the bank now. Um, trying to get protection from that wind, man. It is nasty out here. But I'm gonna pick up this seven footer. We're gonna do some pitching over this tree, man. It's a loaded tree. Looks like it probably has about 20, 25 fish on it, I would guess. If I can get four or five to go, I'll be a happy man. And if those are all keepers, you know what time it is. Either way, thank you, Jesus. Let's go see. Little black cropper. That one ain't gonna come with us. That one ain't gonna come with us. It gotta be a little, probably long enough, but that ain't what we're trying to do. No look for show. No 
gonna look for sure. Another fish. Pitching. Looks like it's gonna be another good keeper too, y'all. I want y'all to answer me this. What makes a good jig? There's a thousand people making jigs out there, but what makes a good jig? Here's another keeper. We just switched over, man. Guys, last time I talked about this jig, they were out of stock. They're gonna be back on the market, man. Make sure you go to the website, www.brushpilejigs.com. We got the passion back, man. The passion is back. That pink and gray. Listen, I bit that two inch bait down um, to about, I don't know, an inch and a quarter. I don't know. However much this is right here, I bit it down. And you see what just happened. Let's go. I'm gonna keep playing the same game until they tell me something different. I mean, came and got it. Not a big fish, but another fish catch, man. Listen, when you love it, you love catching them, man. With the understanding that, hey, it's gonna be a big one coming. Just keep fishing. A lot of weird stuff happening again. Another fish caught. I don't know what to say, y'all. We got a tree. Got a few fish on them. We're gonna do some pitching, see if we can get some catches. Just like this one. Fish on. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Mad about that one at all, y'all. That's a good no check. Good no check fish. I can't lie to you, man. I really do think the absolute funnest way, most fun you can have catching crappie is by casting to them. Casting for crappie is just a ball of a time. And that seven foot one piece, it's just sweetness, man. It's sugar in your hands. Go get you one, man. ACC Crappie Sticks, STIX.com. Tell them Fisher Ken sent you. Fish on. Oh, God almighty. Losing them is hard to do. I hate it. All right, back to what we're here for, man. Put on the Valentine that time. I'm telling you, that pink and clear water, I'm starting to like, man. That's a no check. Well over 10 inch crappie. Keep this party going.
good fish. Ten got to go in, friend. Ten and a half get cut in half. over to a hand tie these fish have gotten really finicky man it's so wild how they can just all of a sudden turn off i'm on a loaded tree plenty of fish looks like there's plenty of keepers there but man trying to get them to bite is a mess we're gonna keep fishing though keep trying man you got and keep moving at the end of the day we're gonna keep doing what we gotta do to get these fish to bite man let's go Guys had to work through it, man. Find out what bait these fish wanted, man. I, I, they completely shut down on me. But you see what's happening, man. Let me show you what I did. You want to try different body styles. Um, same color, two different body styles. I broke off a second ago. But this is the jig I'm using, guys. Listen. Glow Blue, the two-inch hammer, man, from Brush Pile Jigs. They are inhaling it now. We're right back in the groove, man, catching these fish. I got a few more I need to get my limit, and I ain't got but a few minutes before I got to get out of here and go to work. Y'all stay tuned, man. Let's catch a few more. We better count some fish. Got one in the net already. Two. Twenty-three guys, we need two fish, man. And we're gonna end this. Let's go, baby. Guys, just like that, it's over. I gotta hurry up. Gotta get to work. Twenty-five for the win. Y'all see it? Woo! Woo! We had an awesome day, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Listen, Big Bill hats are gonna be back on sale, man. Get you one. Don't be out here in the sun, overheating and hurting yourself, man. Listen, heat strokes are real and we don't want it. Number two, keep them life jackets on. Number three, thank y'all for watching. It's your boy Fishing King, Hook City TV. I'm out here.